Uh, Constantine, can you read the first page? Yeah. On page sure. nine. Page nine, can you read it slowly and clearly? Magnetic square and triangles. Commercial. Commercial uh, 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 architecture. Architecture influenced by basic shapes. So what are the shapes? Yeah, what are the shapes? Triangles, squares. I mean, not triangles. I mean, uh, uh. It's triangles. Yeah, it pyramids. Is yeah. Pyramids. I mean, pyramids shaped like triangles, squares, rectangles, circles, circular, circular, spin, spears, spear. The mathematical, mathematical attributes, attributes mm -hmm. of shapes are taught. Consider ancient in desire or in the, in the design of any stance in standard standing standing structure. No building can concert can be constructed can be constructed without, without a, a car without car car. car, car any understanding. understanding of this. Okay, thank you. You can stop down there right now. Okay, so yeah. you look at the pictures in there. The, the, the triangle, above the word triangles, you can see the pyramid. And then above the square and rectangles, you can see the building that sticks up like triangle, like squares and rectangles. And then circular sphere, you can see the little sphere ball that look, is actually a building. So what are the benefits of using all these shapes? Annalise, do you want to read this? Okay. Okay, what was the question? Uh, page nine, under benefits using. Okay, so do I just read the whole thing? Yes, just read up the blue part. Okay, rectangles and squares, easier, faster, and more economical to build out of ordinary materials. 90, degree, 90 degrees angles are very strong structurally, psychologically, and spatially. I have no <laughs> idea how to say this word. Yeah, it's okay, just keep going. Triangles, stronger structures, structure than re rectangles and squares. Helps redirect weight to a larger area that can support extra weight. Circles or stairs, okay. One of the strongest shapes due to evenly distributed stress along the arc, save materials, increase energy efficiently, ventilation and wind resistance. Thank you. Okay, so if you look at page 10, Anybody recognize these buildings in Singapore? Hang on, hang on. Okay. I gotta turn the page. Uh, the... the first one? First one is... Esplanade. 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 Oh, <laughs> is at the jewel. Yeah. The last so, one is at the jewel. Yeah, so you can write the name at the back there. Can you recognize it by the name down? So you know what they are. Esplanade. Esplanade. And then... Uh, Annalise Esplanade. says the last picture is jewel. Anybody jewel else? It's in the jewel. It's in the jewel. I know that. Yep. And then how about the other four? I have no idea. <laughs> <laughs> I have no idea. Like, um, the only the only building I know is just the jewel. Only the jewel. Okay. So the second picture is called the interlace. The design is like, you know, like um, stacking up boxes. Yeah. So that's the base design for that particular uh, building. Then the third one is very interesting. You can find it in the NTU, National Technological uh, University. It's called the Hive. So it actually looks like the Hive. Uh, what? Yeah, Hive. And then the fifth one. Beehive, oh, right? A yeah. beehive hive. It's called the Hive. The name is called the Hive. 
Okay, and then the one, two, three, four, one is the colonnade, C O L O N N A D E. She can find in Singapore as well, it's um, very close to Ion. Heavy. It's yeah. Very heavy. And then the one that looks like a sphere, I guess, is very, very, it's just next to or at this at Science Museum. Just beside it. It's the apple building, the floating apple structure. Okay. So from the in the middle part of it, you just take up the take the box which you think build up this building. Okay, number eleven is the one we want to play with right now. Auntie Jo, so what is that? What is that structure called? Uh, so far when I researched it, it all just says um, apple building. <laughs> apple building, floating apple building. <laughs> I thought aqua the 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 aqua building. Okay. Oh, that's quite funny. I was like, okay. what name is that too? It's like a uh, aqua building. Wait. Constantine <laughs> uh, says the habitat of Aquaman. Yeah, Aquaman. <laughs> okay. <laughs> so page eleven, you can see there's number one triangle. So on there, you can draw. Let me get a pair a marker. Okay. Okay. So the first one you can see over here, right? So triangles means that we need to do three lines, one, two, three, correct? And then what you're gonna do is add balls at the corner and whatever whenever there's an intersection there, a joint, you put a dot on it. So under the first one, how many balls you can count? So the dots are balls. One, two, three. So you write three. How many lines? So you write three. Then the next part of it, if you put two triangles together side by side, meaning that like this, okay? Watch this. So this is first triangle. The next one, we are going to just connect it like that. Okay? And then on the joints, you put the connectors on. And now you count how many balls? One, two, three, four balls. Lines, one, two, three, four, five. Wait, what? Oh. Yes. Four and, and then you just keep going on. Three, four, five. I have no idea how to do this. <laughs> um. Yes. Yeah, there you go. So, oh so I have number one uh, all the way to five. So you see one, one, two, one, two, three, wait, one, two, three, four. Wait a minute, wait a minute. <laughs> wait a minute. And you can build it with your pieces too. Um, it's the same thing. So if you create a triangle, so you put the pieces on the joints. Then you form one. Oh my God. <laughs> this is so, okay, I give up, I give up. Yeah, see, that's all you see. You create a triangle here. All right, hang on. I'm trying. I'm trying to um, trying to get out things. <laughs> and then you can see there's three. So in order to make another, uh, add on a second, the second triangle, I just have to put 
two extra pieces with one ball. See? And then I add it on. On the blue background, so you can see better. There you go. See that? Okay. We're going to try it. Mm -hmm. It's on. How about okay. this card? How so about this card? It on? This I'm card, so, you can use it to, to, you can use if you have hard time trying to pull them out. This is what the card is for. You use that to cut it out and pull Don't it away. Don't swallow the balls. They, ah. If you swallow two of them, you you're going to have to get surgery and they're going to clip on your organs. These are not too strong. It's not too bad. Just don't solo them, okay? So this is two. So number th if I add number three, I need a, a line, a ball, and a second line to connect it on. Are these monster magnets? Not that monster. But they are very strong magnets. Just there. Another one. One ball and then another line. Why do they look like atoms? <laughs> yeah, they do. Like, it's kind of like DNA or something. Yeah, so see, so mine, I did five altogether. So you can count from there if you can't. Get, get the sequence or the patterns out. And then we'll do the same thing to, as a square. Square is the same. So I need four by four to start with. So we create square, so you can count. So for one square over here, I need four balls and four lines. It creates that. And if I connect and make another square, con connecting them together. Wait, I want to try something. I'm going to try something. You will have we will need this for the next page, so you need to fill up, okay? If not, you'll do it on your own later. Six balls and seven lines. Two, four, six, seven. Yep. Lower so we see clearer. It's three. The three, I will have to draw three. Hey, I got this. Yeah, you will be doing that later. Right now, we are trying to do this because we are looking for number that. pattern. Okay. No, well. So if you see the pattern, you can just draw and count and then just fill it up. Them together. Okay, so once you have finished filling it up on this page, you transfer to the next page. Mm -hmm. On page 12, you can see there are boxes to match. 
So you just write down accordingly. False three, four, five, six, seven. Then how many lines? Three, five, seven, nine, eleven. Four, four, six, seven, eight, ten. 10, 13, 12, 15. Constantine, I cannot see you. So are you still filling out the numbers? Are you sure no? <laughs> yep, yes. <laughs> I can't count anymore. Nope. You can't count anymore. You want to take a look at that and then try to fill it. Up. It's too confusing. Too confusing. Too. Yeah. So just now you fill up this part, right? From one all the way down, one to five, and then the results on here you transfer to the next picture. There you go. So you should have these numbers. So anybody can tell me what is the pattern here you see? What is the pattern? The pattern is like, like 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. It's like 3, 4, yeah, this is 5, plus 6, one 7. Each. Yeah, this is kind of like my password. Yeah, this. Like the one on the three, bottom. Oh, no, oh, no, no, Annalise. <laughs> <laughs> Don't tell people your password. It's similar. No, 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 no. It's similar. <laughs> yeah, so see, so the, the ball is needed for a triangle, for one triangle starts with three because of three corners, right? But if you yeah. keep on linking them on, you only need mm -hmm. one extra ball to create another triangle. So it's three, four, five, six, seven. But for the lines part, each ball you add on, you need how many more? Three, five, uh, need 11 more. No. Need two, two more. more. Two more. You, you are. So look at this pattern here. So here to here is plus one, correct? So every time I travel forward, I put plus one. And for this one, if I travel over, I have plus two. See that? So if I ask you, how many, how many lines do you need if I have, I make 10 triangles side by side, if I lay them side by side for 10, can you tell me how many it will be? Oh, this is so, so three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21. Do you get 21? Then when you're done, you can take a look at squares and see what kind of patterns it is as well. So Danny, can you can you tell me for the squares what patterns there are? What pattern it is? Okay, you need to unmute yourself. Counting by twos. Yes, correct. It adds by two. And how about the lower part? How about the lower part? How about the lines for the squares? Counting by threes. 
Yes, it adds on by three each time round. Very good. So these are very important things you notice about because once you go later on, you will come up with a formula for this one. Okay. So same thing, see? So can you figure out over here? The triangle, if there are 10 triangles now and 10 squares, how many balls and how many sticks we need? Yep, just so just now we counted as 21 lines for the triangles. So three, four, five, six, seven. So for this one, we count here. See, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12. So I need 12 balls and 21 pieces of sticks. Then for the squares, I will count four, six, eight. 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22. And our lines will be 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30. Yes. I'm trying to double check, make sure I'm correct. <laughs> Fifteen. Yeah, correct. Okay. So from there, I'm going to want you to build me a. Yes, yes, a pyramid. Can you build me a pyramid? Oh, yeah, sure. Yeah. I'll I only one. want a small one first. Okay. Okay, so pyramid. So you have a base of how many? The base is made of a square. So you do a square base. Two by three, two by two, one by one. Square base. Put the ball. Okay, so square base here, and then I need to put a be a triangle on top. So I'm going to connect this now. So what I'm doing is I'm just folding the top up, then attaching it on. These magnets are a bit annoying. <laughs> Why? Like they go to somewhere I don't want them to go to. <laughs> Maybe because we're repelling. Mama, so you Mama. just gotta rotate the, the, Mama, I the, need the you use the book. I'm on the 19 test. Okay, sure. We just need to find it. Okay. There you go. So it looks like this. Auntie John. Yes. Okay, good. Now I want you to add the next level to this. I want a level two. Can you add on level two? A bigger one? Yes, a, a double story one. Uh, you able to? Okay, I'm storing some of my foods, you know, the magnetic ones. Can you pass me yours, Colin? Very well. Structure. Let's pass it to me here. I'll show them. I, show them. I will show them later because we are still working on them. Why do you want it? Because I show them later. Oh, 
Oh my God. <laughs> what happened? Nothing, nothing, nothing. It's just so annoying. It's just rolling everywhere. And you put it in a container. See? I have them all in a container. Oh my God. Oh my God, just stop. This won't stop. You know how we read on the passage earlier that no triangles are actually stronger than squares? Because you look at this. I built, a, I built a square. I can actually pinch it easily and it gets pretty much loose, right? And one more important thing Colin, that you can do. Colin, why? Colin, I'm you trying to. Yes. See, I can press onto it and it will change. And I press hard enough in the middle, it will it's just not. come off. Okay. And for triangles. It stays very strong together. In fact, most due of to due to the ninety degrees angle they created. Sixty. Sixty. Sorry. Yes. They all. The equilateral triangles. I'm dreaming now. Always at sixty. I was dreaming. Thank you, Colin. Sixty, <laughs> because a triangle has one hundred eighty degrees, right? So and divide by three. Equilateral triangle. So oh, you stop. divide by three because. Colin, it's stop interrupting your mom. What is fact? In fact, yes. have, but I'm in teaching. Fact, Will you like to teach a class, class okay, Colin? Then can I at least yeah, if you like to teach a class, you can talk a lot. <laughs> so now I'm going to build. Okay, John, can you let me see your square, your your big square? Okay. I'm copying it. My big square is like this. Because one is one, right? The base is one square. So to yeah. make a second, la second layer, I need four underneath. Okay, so I'm making four. And then this will become like this. Okay. Ready for the magic? Yeah, yeah, wait, wait. Um, I, 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 I am doing my bottom. Right now I'm doing your, your, your I'm focusing on the bottom. Uh -huh. I'm not ready for the magic already. <laughs> okay, I'll wait for a while. I'm just adding four legs behind underneath, just like it's a house. See that? Done. Yeah, see, I'm just adding four legs underneath, so it looks like it's a house. All right, okay. now. I'll wait for you. I'll make four legs. Yeah. One, you two. can do it any way you, that works for you. But, this is my spinning top. Wow, there it's fun, I know. You can put a big ball in the middle too. Oops. Okay, ready? Ready, Constantine? Wait, no, 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 no. <laughs> oh, I know. I lost it. I blew myself with fire. No, 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 no. <laughs> okay. We can do that later on, it's fine. Done, 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 done. I'm done. I take out the thing. Watch this, no, okay? No, so no, wait. <laughs> wait, listen. So you see I have four legs down there. Have you gotten your four legs? Oh my god, what the I hate these magnets. You can do it later as well on your own. So I'm gonna okay, connect no, the legs no, together. No, 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 and I'm no, attaching no, it to the middle magnet. cut as well. I hate you. I hate it. I hate it. <laughs> nope, 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 nope. Stupid magnets. Especially the balls. I hate it. Goodbye. Stupid. Oops, and the ball fell in. And it's okay, you can do it later on. We have lots of time at home to nope, try ever, to never, never, build them. Never, never ever. <laughs> Auntie Joan, can you yes. take a photo later of it so that I you will. can be great later? Thank you. I will, don't worry. We have just enough pieces to make two levels. Okay, let me show you, see that? So this is the piece. And it looks like this. 
So you can see they're created by triangles. And there's actually one right in the middle where everything's attached together. So to make the middle stronger, if not, it'll collapse. And this is what Colin did on his own. There you go. Is so he cool? made three, he made three levels and then hide a metal ball in the middle as well. <laughs> See, he had a little the big metal ball in there. I thought it would be a nice design. Yeah. And if there's another way to play this as well, I can show you. I'm gonna take out a piece of this. I'm gonna put a big I can, I'll take, you can use a big or small ball. So I'm using a big one to show you first. I put two balls together. Okay, watch what happens when I, okay, let me see if I should just do one more so it's longer. You can see. Okay. Yeah. And then I'm going to roll a ball towards it. You see that? I rolled off. Okay. Put it again. There. Look at that. It yeah. rolled off. <laughs> that, that is a, a, a snack. I know what is that. I yeah. think it is, oh, I, I, it I, is I, like I, I did it before with my toy cars. Yeah, it's a little, it's like inertia, right? When a car crashes, the car and the car the back, the energy travels forward. That's yeah. why it's very dangerous for the drivers in front and you must always put on your safety belt and there's reason why they have airbag too. Yeah, and it's not safety belt. belt. I mean, it's seat belt. Safety belt. Yeah, seat belt is important and seat belt must put properly as well. If not, it's not very useful. Yeah. People always treat things not useful. Yeah, usually things are not very useful if you don't use them properly. See, I'm going to hide the ball inside as well. It's quite easy once you got there. Yeah. There you go. Hiding a ball in there. Okay, so you can put that away and then do it at home on your own. We're going to do the tank. There you go. Okay, so that's the video you can see. So, so this is what we're going to build today. We're going to do one, I'm going to play one more time. Okay, let's make it. See, that's what I built yesterday. You can see how it looks like. It looks like that. Okay, you can follow what, however it works on the paper or you can follow what I'm doing right now. As usual, sometimes I do it slightly differently. Slightly different, so you can do whichever way that works. And take out everything. And I need mine. Yesterday, I did a car, car park barrier. Ah, the car park very, very the barrier yeah. for the car. Yeah. How was I it? Did, it was good. I did it all by myself. You did it all by yourself, yeah? Yeah. That's good. The more you practice making all this stuff, the easier it becomes. I'm going to pour this inside the cover with all the screws and everything. Before the screws flies away again. Why is everything so oily? So what? Oily. Oily? The oil must have come from the motor. 
because there's motor in oil for so that the gears can work well. So we just need to take a wipe and wipe it off. So what we really want to do this time, you have your batteries, use the, take out your battery and then test your motor and make sure it works. Right, Constantine? Right, the first time I did the dinosaur, my father <laughs> said, you have to test out the battery first. Then I didn't test out the battery. Then the motor? The motor, I didn't test out the motor. Then after that, I put all the pieces for it. My father on it. Then I say, how come not open it? The not way. working. But it's the work. It worked. Then my father figured it out. Then after that, what? Taking out my battery so I can test out the battery. So if you put on your battery part of it, take the two ends and then touch to the ears. That's how you test it out, whether something is working or not. Okay, my turning. Can you hear the sound? So when it's, it works, I take out the battery and put it aside. Take out all the pieces too. Did. I was not paying attention because I was, oh, I was just testing. Yeah, I was just testing out the, the motor. Do you know yeah. how to test the motor? Yeah. My, okay. my so mother is to find the motor. Okay, so if you know how to test the motor, then I don't have to teach you anymore, right? Well, I, I, how about the tank had to do the tank? Why you say you I cannot teach you anymore? Because you have to you must listen. To, yeah, you must listen to what I've just said clearly. I said if you know how to test the motor already, then I don't I do not need to teach you that anymore. Correct. I understand where you're coming from because Colin always says that too, or does things like this too. Say what? <laughs> you always like to argue with me. But you said this. <laughs> but then I said, true. that's why I am very clear my words and you listen very, very carefully too. Because I know you're going to talk about all this stuff. So I make sure I'm very, very clear. You know how to argue. <laughs> that's the so this thing is same like we did for the dinosaur. Uh, but yes, you are right. It's interlock. Interlock, not lace. Yes, you lace it. Interlock lace. Picking up all the pieces. Okay, who's ready to start? Nope. Nope, not ready yet. Okay, on your instruction booklet over there, uh, inside the yeah, yellow color instruction pieces, they say to actually put in the uh, motto in and then you wire it later, but I'm going to do it first. Okay? And then do it halfway there first. So you see this piece over here? I'm gonna remove them so you can see clearly. Off the screen. Three. Okay, so we're gonna take this piece, we're gonna take the two side pieces here. And the motto here. And I'm going to use the red wire and the cover plus two tapes. Got it yet? So battery cover, put two tapes behind it. I'm putting two tapes behind the battery cover. 
And Constantine, if you want me to see, look at it, you need to make sure your camera is facing your project, okay? Okay. Wait, hold on, hold on. Okay. I don't need to see your face. I know your face very well. <laughs> yeah, okay. Copy that. It's going to fall off. Uh, make sure that it's safe, yeah? So, have you done this too yet? Yeah. Okay, very good. I'm going to take this piece, but I'm going to place it down. Okay? Where is it? Where is it? Your you know, see the circle here? Okay. I'm placing it behind the circle a little bit. I'm copying yours. Okay. okay. Can see or not? Cannot see. I put the can, 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 blue can, color. Can see. Can, can <laughs> see. Can see. <laughs> okay. You see me wear spectacle thing that I cannot see? Yeah, it's okay. It's good. I actually have glasses too. But because oh. mine is not very, very, my degree is not very high. So I don't really have to wear it. If I don't, I tend to stress my eyes all the time now, which yeah. I've learned over a long time. I will just relax my eyes. They cannot see the bus number. I wait for it to come closer. Yeah. Even yeah. my degree of my spectacle is 200. Okay, ready now? <laughs> then you have one. Okay, you see this black color wire? Put it into the hole. Go through the hole to the other side. Got it? Then on top, there'll be a black here. Right? So you see this? You remember two ears? We always have two ears, right? If you put the ears facing yourself towards your chest, okay? Then the top one should be uh, with the black color. And you can see the wire is very, very short. So you strip it yourself. Strip the wire, make it a bit longer so you can wrap it around. Hey. Strip the wires and I spin it. I tie it to the I'm one on the top. You don't have to do that. You no longer have to do that. It's just put the wire. That's what I'm trying to do. No, wait. You just put it in the last one here. And then you just pull. You yep. pull it. The first the smallest, first. the smallest one. You just put it here. And you pull. You don't have to twist it anymore. Like you use a uh, scissor. By the time you go to secondary school and all this, I need to do all this stuff. You are very good at it already. Okay, I'm going to take a picture of this one. So those who need to look at pictures can see it. Okay. And the red wire here, the extra wire, the red color ones, take a spin and take out the one, one side will do. This is quite long. If it's not long enough, then you strip it again, okay? If it's long enough, you put it to the other ear, to the bottom. I took out two ends. It's okay. Then just spin both ends. You will need it in the end. Okay. I'm going to strip my red wire for the other side as well for the battery cover because that is very short for me to work with. So I don't have a do it later. Oops. <coughs> I 
Are you okay, Eva? Yes, yes. Okay. Okay, so once you're done with the two wires here, the extra wire, put it through the hole as well. Got it? I'm, I'm going to fix it down. Okay, so if I face you, you can see my wires are here with the black one on top. Yeah, the black one on top. Okay, that's good. And take a look at this piece here. There are two of these pieces here. They're exactly the same. Except if you take a note, uh, take notice on this, you can see this has a little slit on here. This doesn't have on the opposite side. We want both to be together this way. And this facing down, we're going to put it through this way. The other side. Again, which part facing down? Okay, let me show you. Okay. Okay. See, so what happened over here, you can see. This one underneath have the slits on and the top is empty. You see that? So it's like this. Got it? So hang on. Huh? Mm. Okay. So they both should go down the same way. And this little this little connector part of it should be facing the the back part of the motor. Okay, you show her. Mm, oh, can you show me? Down. Yes, correct this way. Okay, it's uh it's not correct. Constantine, you look the top, my top is empty. Your top have a slit. Mm. Oh. Yeah, the reason is we need the screwdriver, the screw this time round to screw the bottom in. So if you flip it upside oh, down, is. there is actually a hole here. Uh -huh. so yeah, it's not this exact. is for us to put the screw in. Correct. Yes. See, now I can screw the bottom in. Both sides are correct. Yeah. yeah. See, you can see my screw is here. It came out from the space in the middle there. There you go. What's my the screwdriver? Give one screwdriver. And you you find it difficult to pick it up, just put a magnet on a uh, stick it onto your screw and then it will pick up things easily already. Uh oh I'll put on the screws. And analyst, if you want to watch me, I want me to watch your projects, you can turn the camera towards the project too. Mm -hmm. There you go. You can okay. see. I added a screw onto it to secure it. So now this is secure. These two pieces are secure now. Okay, so this part is done. Wait. So on the side, you can see this. My red wire from the top connects to nothing. My black one connects to the battery pack. So now I have two red wires hanging underneath. Okay, so have you finished this yet? No, 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 no. Okay. No. Okay, Constantine, then you must realize, then you do what we are doing right now, right? Then doing the next piece. If you haven't done this one, you do this first. Mm 
Then the next step is, you see the switch on this one? Put the switch through the top to the bottom. Slide the switch through. Turn it upside down. Now you have two red wires. So guess what you're going to do? You're going to attach the wires, the red wires, one on each side of the ear, of the switch. Okay? Where, Auntie John? This switch. Way. The two red wires that you have left with. Oh, yeah. You attach one to one, one ear of the switch. I only have two wires. How come you... Wait. I have two also. Two red ones left. Then one on top in... Okay, say so this is my front. Take a look. I put both the wires inside through it. So when I yeah. turn it around... Constantine? Um, yep. Yeah. What are you doing? I'm trying to see. Okay. So have you got that ready? Yeah, wait, then. Uh, never mind. I can catch up with you. Okay, no problem. Take your time. Then we wrap onto the bottom of the switch. So one on each side. Um, Danny, you are supposed to uh, put a screw underneath your top piece. Once you put the, once you put the um, the motor inside, and this sideboard, the sideboard underneath is secured by the screws. See that? So Mama, it will not fall off easily. Can you help? So this is the base part already. Okay, ready, Constantine? Yeah, ready for the okay. magic. Okay, I'm going to do this part. I've been twisting it a lot. <gasps> Calm down. So this is what we're going to build right now. So this piece is here. You realize the step over here has one long and one short. The shorter side, you put two pieces. And if it's loose, use the glue they provide you with. Oh, okay, so both reds go inside. Okay. Yeah, once the short side should just be enough to fit two. If it's loose, put the, use the glue. On the opposite side, just put one of the cross piece. Then both pieces of this semicircle piece through it. Followed by the cross piece to close it up. See? So if I don't stick it on, it's actually very loose. If you want to stick it quickly and dry quickly, you can use UHU glue. Oh, oh can I screw? There's a hole inside there, so I can Yes, screw. you can screw the front and back too. Okay. You can screw it in and then you can take it out easily later on, right? Yeah. See? That was good observation, right? Yeah. That's why they give you so many screws. No. There you go. Sit down, wait for me, please. No worry. Once I finish, I will just stop and wait for you for a while, okay? okay. Danny's enjoying crepe for breakfast. Yummy. Yes. There you go. See, so front and back.
Yeah. Yo, yo, Mr. Yo, you come. Yeah, we have kids who are trying to do themselves, so we'll give them some time. Okay, and once you are done, I would like you to take these two short axles and push it into the side slots of your machine, of your motor. If you find it difficult, you can use a tabletop or use the back of the wheel to help you push it in. Tabletop is probably easier. and get a parent's help with the need. Because this one is slightly tricky. Yeah, I'm going to, what I'm gonna do is, I'm going to stick the small wheel onto it first, so I can use it on the tabletop to push it in. Okay, so one, and attach the second one. So you look like this. And then we attach it inside. And now here, click. Auntie John, please wait for me. My mother is doing the, the wheels. wheels and the sticks. Yes, and axle, right? Hmm? Yeah, it will take a little time sometimes, so just give your mom yeah. time as well. Okay, I done. do this often, yeah. I do it often enough, so it's a little easier for me. And now you have four long axles. I want you to put the wheel to one side, just one side. And how you put it is the one with the prints, the little circles face outside. The flat ones face inside. Okay. Just on one side. Of the wheel. Just like that. So we do it for all four. So those, the, the rough, the rough jumping ones face out and then the yes. flat one face in. Correct. Actually, you can do either way. It doesn't really matter as much, but it just looks nicer. It gives the wheel some patterns. Okay. Small. 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 So you have the four. Can I, can I hit yeah. live? Yeah, you can still watch if you want. <laughs> it's all right. Mm. 
So if Constantine done with that one, all four done. Base piece put on the inside. Star facing out. Base piece facing one two. Yeah. And then your favorite part, use your screw to screw the side skin. All right. Star to star. All right. How about if star not to star? Because sometimes you want to do your own pattern, then it can be any way you want. <gasps> oh, never mind, never mind. This is the, the <laughs> what? Heaven's <laughs> great, man. Thank God. Thank God. So be, be calm, okay? <laughs> Almost Heaven's broken, great, heaven huh? great. Yeah, you must Mama, realize. I need help. I need help. I think these pieces are broken. What? It's okay. Hey, Remember, the, your mom, your home has a lot of super glue and whichever things to help it work. It will work. You see my home like this and they say I'm yeah, like a really super are. bad boy. No, she's just saying that your house has got glue. Because that's I'm that's glue. All she thinks. She, you she's mean not even glue on the wall, glue everything. Constantine, that's what you're imagining. Oh no, there's a fly. Fly in. <laughs> okay. Okay. Has mommy finished fixing? Not yet. That must be the second screw. Do it. Which one? Which one? Okay. Okay. Got it now. So this one we're gonna do is you see the wheels here. You attach the wheels in. Okay. Attach the wheels in and put the cover on. You decide. Just like this. See? You drop one in. Use the use the use the tabletop. Slowly, okay? When you push in slowly, just enough so that it's it can, it's flat into on the top of the wheel area. It is good enough. Make sure it just is flat, see? And it's okay. So you have this base with four wheels. Actually, eight wheels, four on each side. And make sure they all can move smoothly. If it's too tight, then you adjust it. This is too tight. Okay. So once you're done with this, you put your battery inside. Make sure it's turned off. And then attach this under.
happened to your whales? <laughs> Constantine, I cannot see the whales. You can see analyst whales. I cannot see your whales. Mom <laughs> is doing my wheels. I see. Uh, uh, again. <laughs> Yeah, this no, this this the this question oh, the piece is underneath. Ah, I see. I'm missing a piece. What? Which piece are you missing? Do what have two on this? Two of that, yes. You can look on the tabletop on the floor. It might have wrote down. Look, one, two. And then I need one here, and then one here. Where's my fault? Is, is that fault? Um, uh, Eva, if you fix yeah. the wheel on it, Three. it should work still well. Three. Yep. Yeah, because they will give each other support. Okay, so just hold the piece part, yeah? Don't hold that part. Oh, how come you only have Why else? Wait, is that ah, you missed one. Batteries inside already, yes? Make sure you yes. put in your battery already. Okay. Once you finish this, the rest are easy. Side piece, just attach to the end of it. Here. Like this. See? So it's the front piece, just put it in front. And then you'll be left with the cup, the last piece on top. Mm, breathe. Oh my God! Breathe, it's all right. We'll wait. One. Colin, can you send pass me the silicon pad, the the uh, the brown uh, brown one? Silicon where? The oh. mat. Yeah. Careful of everything on top of it. You said silicon. Silicon it's mat. Silicon mat. Okay, and when you're done, then you put the rubber band on top, just through the wheels. Oops. Side, so, do the same thing. Top.
And for those who are still doing it, I'm just going to go through the notes while y'all, while waiting for you guys. Okay, there we go. So looking at this, uh, when it comes to dominating off-road performance, many people's first thought is of tracked devices and uh, vehicles due to the ability to get around in difficult terrain without breaking a sweat. So for this, it's all about ground pressure, how you add on weight to the ground. So this is a Soviet T70 tank. It looks a little bit like what we have down here, except over here you can see there are little, like a little, little um, gear gags here called, that are cocked into the wheel. So this point here actually will be stuck right into the wheel area, which has little holes on it too, to match. So they will never run out, out of position. Now we look at how Tang's tracks works. Tang's tread itself is usually made up of individual steel links that are connected together with hinges. The tracks are wrapped around one or more driving, uh, we are not driving, drive wheels, often called, which directly pull on the tracks. The weight of the vehicle is carried through the road wheels and passed on to the tread spreading out the load across a broader area. The track system may also have one or more idle wheels used to keep the tracks top, means to make it uh, firm and firm, not too tight, as well as return rollers to guide the tracks back around without touching the road wheels. The, ground, the low ground pressure of tracks hangs to a large contact patch means they are perfect for driving in soft terrains like sand without sinking in. Because if you just drive a normal car on a, in a desert, it's not going to work very, very well. Colin? Yeah, because the sand will run off easily, which means that it create a hole for you, for your wheels to get stuck in there. Here. So tank tracks or continuous tracks, as they are more technically known, were developed initially for farm and logging, and logging uh, apply applications for heavy vehicles that needed to operate in soft terrain. Continuous tread had the advantage that they could support a vehicle's weight over a much larger area than wheels. Spreading out the load meant that the, wheel pressure, the ground pressure was lower and that the vehicles was less likely to sink into soft mud or sand. It also allowed a vehicle to put much more turk, uh, turk uh, what is this word, Eva? How do you pronounce this word? Where? Uh, yeah. Park. 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 To the ground without slipping. Thanks to the much large, uh, larger contact patch compared to regular wheels. The party piece of the tank the ability to crush smaller road vehicles is as much a result of its uh, huge weight as its, as its tracks. However, the tracks are less likely to get tangled or damaged when driving over another vehicle compared to a pneumatic, a pneumatic tire. New pneumatic tire. Uh, pneumatic. See, I'm bad in this film. I try. <laughs> yeah, so this can also help you take the enemy down. Okay, if you, okay, this is a very fun game here. Okay, I'm going to stop this. And on the chat page, I'm going to send you a link for this. If you want to, I'm gonna show you this game. Thanks to, I think computing is a fun thing. Okay. So this is what we have. Okay, so this is the game itself. If I press start, let me make it bigger. So what I'm going to do is I'm trying to get this tank to attack the others. So if I move 
my arrows up and down, you can see what happens is that my tank, I can aim it high or lower according to angles. Use A and B to move left and right. Okay, see, watch this. What's A? Then if you're on a computer, you can move A and B to move forward. If an iPad, you can just usually tap it. Yeah, I'll let you play that too. Colin, I'm teaching a class. Okay. So and then you can press, press space, space to space fire, to fire. Or the target at the bottom right. There you go. And you try to reach the other side. Okay, I'm too far off the screen. Okay. Oops. So what I can do is you can see my arrow up there here is very long. It means it's more power. So I reduce it a little bit. You want to and aim I can to try. The on your left. Yeah, and if I want to go to my left, I can just turn it all the way to my left. Let's see that. And then fire. And then I can fire directly on it. And you earn two hundred and thirty-seven dollars. Yeah. And okay, he's moving away from me. Interestingly, so now I have to move it back again so I can aim it at the guy. So over here, we're using math to actually play with this. Yeah, to trying to you now figure out which angle it is best. Okay. Short, a little shot across the ball. Okay. Yeah, on the right, they're trying you to- You need medical supplies other. immediately. Yeah. So I just go up there. And then where's my, okay, I can get a shield. I have points by shield, I can repair. buy shield. Where's the repair button? The, oh, the, 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 class. the thing at the bottom left, yeah. the number is yeah. how much health you have. Yes, I can use that to repair myself a little bit. And I'm going to move away of the fuel. So I need to buy fuel. fuel. So here is the fuel. You're running out of money. Okay, I ran out of money. So I need, I want to move back a little bit so I can attack this guy. And when I yeah, when I win this guy, you I will get, get yeah, I get five hundred. That's why mom was willing to do it. Yeah. So then I have to try to adjust it again and go wise. Fire, fire, fire. And give it a try. Uh, too close. It wouldn't be too close for it the wow. So it means I need more power a little bit, maybe a bit higher. Let's try it. No, not enough, not high enough yet. Okay, uh, someone got destroyed by itself. Oh no, for with the purple color. Yeah, it we'll destroyed itself. And short, across okay, the Okay, too far. So I'm gonna move back this way down. So it's trying to get it incorrect. I would like to try to in my here. It's still too much. Are you done? Yes. Excuse me, yes. can I okay. show you this? Okay, let me just stop the share for this one so we can all see. And let me stop the game too. If not, it's going to just keep attacking me. No. Okay. Let me keep this. Okay, what do you want to show me? Go. Okay, go. Uh, ah, you merge the two together. Uh, go, go, go. Oh. Okay, here, Mom. I would like to play that. I'll ask her to listen out about all the stuff you see on the tree. Thank you for watching. Okay, that's good. So, and at least you finish your story also. Correct? So sugar, uh, sugar painting. Um, they are they are just like you no know, modern days lollipops. They are you know, because the modern ones we use are very colorful and flavorful. Any any flavor you like, you can kind of find it. Yeah. And for this ones, they are using one single kind of um sugar usually, and then they just use a freehand drawing. So see, it can make from melted melt, which is what we are using today. Well, I've, we used iso melt before because it's no like lesser GI. 
So what, once you melt it like this, you can see it floating. You just get a scoop and then that hopefully something metal because it's a good conductor of heat and doesn't cool it down too fast. Then you pour it on the surface to create the pictures you want. Over here, you can see over here, this picture over here is like a spin a wheel thingy. So a lot of the vendors make it more fun by doing spin a wheel. So they make, make them spin this and whatever an, uh, animal it lands on, they will do it for them. But of course, if you already have an idea, then they will just do whatever you want. a little bit of the, the, the three quarter melted ones, not as clear. I'm just gonna use it anyway, not fully clear, but it will still work. just means that it will harden quicker. Then you put your stick on it. Take some more and drizzle over. To harden it up. To join them together. So it works better if your pot can cook it until it's clear. My pot is just not doing it. <laughs> Mama has a mushroom going under the kitchen. I cleared it. Yeah. It's very interesting. Yep. Try to go. The temperature go. is can cannot go as high as the ones for the real fire. This is quite sad when you want strong fire. 